Hi, and welcome to CFI's Deeper Dive, the weekly show where we delve into the fascinating world of financial markets, providing you with the invaluable insights you need to stay ahead of the curve. Now, in 2023, it's been impossible to overlook the profound impact of artificial intelligence. With the release of ChatGPT3 and then 4, AI has become the focus of our news, and we've been drawn to its potential applications on our daily lives. So, what exactly is artificial intelligence, and why has it become the dominant topic that everyone is talking about? And critically, what does it mean for professionals in the financial services industry? I'm Ryan Spenderlo, Vice President of Content here at CFI. And in this week's Deeper Dive episode, we will explore the potential impact of AI and how it relates to you. Let's start by clarifying what we mean by artificial intelligence. AI refers to the use of computer systems or machines that are capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. These systems rely on algorithms designed to replicate the workings of our brains, enabling AI to acquire knowledge, recognize patterns, make decisions, interpret data and images. The ability of AI to process vast amounts of data, to automate tasks, provide accurate predictions and enhance decision-making processes, make it immensely valuable in the finance industry. However, it's useful to note that AI is actually an umbrella term that encompasses different types of technology. So let's dig a little deeper. At the forefront, we have narrow AI, also known as weak AI, which excels at performing specific tasks. Narrow AI has already permeated our daily lives. If you've played chess against a computer or interacted with Alexa to manage your Amazon account, or used facial recognition just to unlock your smartphone, you've experienced narrow AI firsthand. Many financial institutions use narrow AI systems for fraud detection purposes. These systems analyze transaction data, spending patterns, user behavior, to identify and flag potentially fraudulent activities, reducing the risk of financial losses. At the other end of the spectrum, we have general AI, also referred to as strong AI or artificial general intelligence, AGI. General AI possesses the ability to perform any intellectual task that a human can accomplish. It can understand and learn from diverse data sets. It can solve complex problems. It can exhibit creativity adapt to new situations, and effectively communicate in natural language. Although general AI currently exists as a hypothetical concept, its realization would undoubtedly have profound impacts on various domains. It could revolutionize scientific research, enhance healthcare diagnostics, and certainly assist in financial analysis by offering insights and recommendations based on its profound understanding and analysis of extensive data sets. Interestingly, many experts believe that ChatGPT represents a significant step towards general AI. But before we delve deeper into ChatGPT, let's clarify some AI relevant terminology. There are different types of AI, each with its unique applications and characteristics. Expert systems are computer-based systems that utilizes knowledge and reasoning to simulate the decision-making abilities of human experts in a specific domain. A finance domain example is a credit scoring system. Robotics refers to the application of mechanical devices, often equipped with artificial intelligence, that are designed to perform various tasks autonomously without human guidance. While not exactly mechanical in nature, robotic advisors or robo-advisors use algorithms and AI to provide automated investment advice. Natural language processing or NLP is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on enabling computers to understand and interpret and generate human language. 
in a way which is meaningful and useful. NLP techniques can be used to analyse and interpret public sentiments from news articles and social media posts, providing financial analysts with more data points from which to make investment decisions. Computer vision is where computers are able to understand and interpret visual information from images or videos. Financial institutions deal with large volumes of paper documents such as invoices, receipts, statements. Computer vision technology can be employed to automate the extraction of relevant information from these documents, reducing manual effort and increasing efficiency. Machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence that enables computers to learn from data and improve performance on specific tasks, but without being explicitly programmed. ChatGBT is an example of a machine learning tool. It's based on computer systems called neural networks, a subset of machine learning which creates networks of nodes loosely modelled on the neurons in the brain to simulate the way the brain functions. ChatGPT is trained on massive amounts of data to generate human-like responses to natural language queries. This training on massive amounts of data is called deep learning. This type of AI is already extensively used in finance. Machine learning algorithms can be used to support automated trading strategies. It can be used to detect fraud in real time by analyzing transaction data, user behavior, and historical patterns. Machine learning is also used to analyze and assess risk factors and optimize risk models, aiding portfolio management, asset allocation, and risk prediction. Okay, now we know what AI is and we're familiar with some different ways AI is being applied in finance, I want to shift the discussion. ChatGPT's arrival and the multitude of other AI tools that have been launched in the last 12 months has been nothing short of seismic. It's impossible to escape the headlines such as being the fastest growing app ever to the growing impact it's having on the stock prices of tech firms that are investing in this type of technology to the broader debate around the ethics of such technology to the way it's going to impact the world around us. And when it comes to the arrival of potentially transformative technology, people will both be excited and anxious at the same time. With AI, the balance between excitement and anxiety is tipped more towards the anxiety side of the spectrum for many people. This differs from other recent technological milestones like the internet or smartphones. And what's driving this anxiety? Well, for finance professionals, one major source of anxiety is the fear that AI will lead to finance roles being replaced en masse by AI. And this is totally understandable, given all the headlines around AI. However, there are some pretty major hurdles that AI must pass before we get to the stage of mass job losses for finance professionals. AI will need to be regulated, and the EU has already proposed laws on the use of AI in banking. There are ethical issues, there are reliability issues, and the security issues around AI will all need to be resolved. And the resolution of these issues will probably need to evolve into global AI frameworks. However, this is not to say that AI as a tool for people working in finance isn't here to stay. It is, and so this does raise the question, what can we do as finance professionals to ensure we stay relevant in an industry which has so many use cases for AI and likely will be even more impacted by AI in the coming years? Well, let's start with five things that AI can't do or can't do very well. AI models lack common sense and critical thinking skills. AI models struggle to understand context. AI models do not empathize well with people's emotions and feelings. AI models are not creative or imaginative, as pre-trained models like ChatGPT combine existing knowledge, although they can generate innovative ways of expressing this knowledge. Finally, AI models do not possess real-time learning capabilities, limiting their ability to adapt quickly and dynamically to rapidly changing environments.
An appreciation of these shortcomings will help answer our question on what we can do as professionals to stay relevant in an AI world. Firstly, take the time to become more technology literate. This will increase your chance of being successful in using, understanding, and navigating AI technologies effectively and responsibly. My next tip is, while technology like ChatGPT is great for certain tasks, such as summarizing large amounts of data, what it doesn't do so well is critical thinking and problem solving. Working on your critical thinking and problem solving skills will enable you to leverage AI as a tool and elevate you beyond what AI can currently do. Improving these skills involves being able to make decisions based on evidence and logic. You can improve your critical thinking skills. Ask questions, actively listen, practice considering other points of view and learn to investigate issues. You can also improve your problem solving skills. Practice defining problems. Try to generate new solutions by being creative and thinking outside the box. And after solving a problem, take time to reflect on the process and the outcomes. My third tip, take time to develop your emotional intelligence skills. EQ skills such as self-awareness, empathy, and social awareness are valuable in professional settings as they contribute to effective communication, relationship building, decision making, and your overall well-being. Finally, try to become more resilient and agile. While these have become buzzwords in today's corporate culture, they do play a critical role for success in an AI-dominated world. Resilience is your ability to bounce back, adapt, and recover from setbacks, challenges, or stressful situations. Agility at work refers to your ability to adapt, respond, and thrive in rapidly changing or unpredictable circumstances. By cultivating your resilience and your agility, you can position yourself as a valuable contributor in a workplace driven by AI. You can harness the benefits of AI technology while leveraging your unique human capabilities, such as critical thinking, emotional intelligence, creativity, and problem solving. So, AI is here to stay, and we may have to adapt to stay relevant. Are you ready for the challenge? <laughs>